today. It's Cami. You guys, I used a brand new palette today. I used this one right here. It's the Deck of Scarlet and Christina X Makeup Palette. It's so gorgeous. If you can order from Deck of Scarlet, this is one I would say that you must get so pretty please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and anything that i mention in the video will be linked down below in the description box so you can check it out further i went from looking like i just woke up to looking like this so stay tuned to find out how i got this really cute look so let's get to doing my hair So today i just don't want to look so drab i just want to look pretty you know what i mean like I'm gonna do a pretty look. Are you guys tired of pretty looks? Today is Sunday. So in one of my last videos, I asked you guys like what day you guys would prefer that I upload a video so you can watch it. Um, most of you said like either Friday or Sunday and today is Sunday, so I'm trying it out. I'm seeing if you guys like that I've uploaded today. So yeah, this is something new for me. I know it's been um, quite a while. Oh, just in case you're wondering what I'm putting on my hands really quickly. It's the uh, Palmer's Cocoa Butter. And my hands usually get so dry. It has been very long. It's been a long time since I uploaded a video. I think the last time I did it was last Sunday. This is the Murad Hydration Nutrient Charged Water Gel I'm using for moisturizer on my face. Okay, I'm not used to getting moisturizer in my hair so much. I might have to put it up. This is probably my very last time using this because I'm going to completely run out of it. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Water Spray. This stuff makes your makeup stay in place. I like to put it before I put on any makeup. Also, I think it is doing a good job to help my eyeshadow stay on my eyelids. It like was spitting globs at me but it doesn't normally do that the wet n wild primer water spray is so good you guys I think that it's just spitting globs because I don't even know what to dab it in with I think it's just doing that because it's like it's running out but normally it doesn't do that so if you get it you don't have to worry about that I recently bought another one but I don't think I bought a rose but this smells amazing so let's go ahead and get started with this look hey there okay this is from a brand called deck of scarlet they've got this face palette with eyeshadows cheek colors and lip colors in here Ooh, i love this whole romantic gothic type if i can get it out these are lip colors here these are three eyeshadow colors and then these are face so i would say this is like a blush and this is more of a highlight color so the first thing i'm going to do is put moonstone all over the base of my eye the face moisturizer that i was using i got that from the ulta 21 days of beauty and it was on sale for half off it's by murad i'm not sure how i feel about it yet so i'll probably give you guys an update later natural looking color thank you Christina this is so pretty I love it it's like perfect for me I really feel like my I'm done I'm done I'm done yeah that's it I'm not drab anymore I'm done let's go I'm just kidding okay I said I'm gonna try to use all the colors in this palette but you guys I don't really know that I know how to do this yellow in here I'm like very nervous about that I'm gonna end up using the black to like line my lid here to make a little bit of a wing but I don't know about that yellow. I just, we'll see when I get there. Now I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to put just over my lid. I know I just put bad behavior there, but I mean Moonstone, what's bad behavior? Oh, that's the other color, okay. So I'm gonna put my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on my lid just here. So my plan is to put one of these, either this one or this one, on top of the concealer what should I do yeah I'm gonna use tan lines on top of this concealer I'm a little nervous 
nervous, but that's okay. Actually, what should I do with my finger? Woo, look how gorgeous that is. So I'm definitely gonna need to darken this up somehow. We will see. Boy, I really dug into tan lines, didn't I? Look what I did. So I'm gonna take onyx here and I'm just gonna go in the crease and on the edges. I should put tape. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me go ahead and make sure that I have moonstone everywhere I want it first. Before I put the onyx on you guys, I was just feeling like I need to be able to actually see the amount of space I have between my eyelash line and my brows. So I'm gonna do my brows with my favorite. This is the e.l.f. Deep Brown Brow Pencil. That way I can really gauge how much space I have for all the color. And then I know exactly how thin or how thick I wanna put the black on my eyelid. Wow, now I can really see, wow, okay. So there's not that much space, you know? That's what I really needed to know. Man, this pencil is reliable. Ugh, I love it. All right, I think I'm gonna do a brow video. I probably keep saying that in all my videos, but I think I really need to sort my brows out because I could, I could make more lid space if I just actually tweezed my brows but I just haven't taken the time to do it because I've been going back and forth like, do I want you guys to see me do it or what? And then it would like save a lot of time when I do these videos. Okay, so there's definitely a need for something a little bit darker on my eyes. So I'm kind of nervous to do this because I haven't used black in a while. So I'm basically just going to make this outer corner darker. Okay guys, so here's the thing. I'm kind of nervous that, I'm like telling you guys what I'm nervous about while being nervous about putting this color here. It's something totally different. I'm kind of nervous that no one is going to win the uh, mascara giveaway that I have going on. I don't know, I just, I don't know. I keep looking at, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Wait, today's the fourth, right? So today is the fourth. Today's Friday, October 4th. It is 10.32 in the morning. So you guys, I'm kind of nervous that no one is gonna win the mascara giveaway that I have going on, um, which will be like so interesting. I mean, it wouldn't be like the first time that no one won one of my giveaways. Do I like this? Kind of like the blown out look. It's ended up being kind of soft. Some people just don't have Twitter and they don't want Twitter, I get it. Some people don't have Instagram, they don't want Instagram, I get that. Um, but the thing is, in my last video I was saying, you know, if you don't want to know, if you don't want to see every video that I make about a giveaway, then maybe go ahead and turn off your notifications on my other channel. Um, if you're if you didn't watch my last video that came out last Sunday, but you're watching this one I want to reiterate that because I have to get the word out about the giveaways a lot My battery is about to die, but I really want to tell you guys this this before I um, stop and charge my battery if you have not turned off your notifications on my other channel, maybe Maybe you want to because I'm gonna be making more videos about the giveaway just to get the word out more because yeah, like I said, I feel like there might not be a winner for this giveaway, and I think it's because I didn't get the word out more. Okay, oh wow, probably almost noon. Okay, so you guys, I don't think I like what's happening. I'm not enjoying this look. Maybe I should just put like some, maybe I should go dark inside. Okay, there's no turning back now. All right, so I'm going darker throughout the entire Oh, oh my gosh, I went too high, uh oh. I hope I like this better, cause I don't wanna like start all over. I kinda wanna leave the house today. I have like 
other stuff I want to do. I want to go to the gym. And I would go to the gym like this. I mean, I have this um, makeup routine that I did. And it was makeup that I would wear to the gym. You know, I put that video on my, um, I put that on my vlog channel, which I don't have anymore. I deleted the vlog channel. So I might re-upload that here. Yeah. I think I might end up doing that because I do work out and it's part of like what happens on like a regular basis in my life. So let's see if I can salvage it. Boy, this has turned. Should I try the yellow? Hmm. Let's see what the yellow does. Oh my gosh, I don't know. No, I have to start over. This is not working. I'm totally starting this whole look over. I don't like this at all. This isn't working. What time is it now? Oh gosh, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so now it's, so now it's 12.07 and unfortunately, washing my face really quickly, I ended up taking off my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start over again with this really beautiful eyeshadow palette by Deck of Scarlet, guys. All right, let me do my brows. I'm dropping everything. This is how it goes, this is, this is how it goes. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back. So I really just shot my entire eyebrow routine and I've started putting Moonstone, this color right here, back in my crease. But you know what I forgot to do after I did my eyebrows? I forgot to put more of a primer water or any type of primer at all. So as you can see, this color isn't as potent on my eyelid as it was, well, in my crease as it was earlier in the video. It's because there's no primer on my eyes. So that's the situation, real life. I totally was doing two videos at once just now. Um, still working on this video and yeah, there's no primer on my eyelids anymore. So any color that I use is not gonna show up as much as it would have if I had just finished this look earlier. <laughs> okay, so I really like the way Moonstone looks anyway. This is really, really pretty to me. You know what? Instead of trying to use every color in this palette, like I said that I was gonna try to use, I'm still gonna use Onyx, which is the black, but I'm gonna use it as kind of like a liner, just like I said in the beginning, and then I got like kind of jiggy with it, didn't I? Just putting Moonstone all over the lid. Boy, it would be so much more potent if I had primer on. Oh well, I washed my face and I forgot to put on moisturizer and primer on my eyelids, but that is okay. Actually, oh, let's see how the highlighter looks under my brow now that my brows are on and done. Okay, so I'm gonna use Bad Behavior, which is this right here. This almost reminds me of the Morphe Spark highlighter that I really like to use. I just like tap it off. Okay, let's see what bad behavior is looking like under there. Okay, oh this is like a subtle highlight. It's not intense. Maybelline Line Stiletto uh, Eyeliner. This is Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm gonna end up smudging this out with Onyx like I said. liner at the bottom and this is the Sephora coal crayon it's just a long-lasting coal pencil by Sephora and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on my lash line BRB that's nice I haven't done that in a while I'm just gonna smudge out this line here with onyx and I'm also gonna make the line connect to the bottom it's just like a soft black smudge. Actually, I'm gonna take the cold pencil and I'm gonna rim my entire eye with it. Okay, so this is the type of look where you could wear like dramatic eyelashes because 
there's not so much going on and if you cover up a little bit of the eyeshadow it's not like so tragic I feel like I have to do my waterline too I did my lash line but I need to do inside here just because this is like this is a look I'm feeling this girl finally does her eyebrows and then like goes ham on her eye makeup <laughs> I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation just to complement the primer that I used. Now if you're gonna use this foundation, it dries pretty quickly. So you're gonna have to work a little quickly. So let's see if this is enough. I kinda just put it everywhere. There's no like method to this. <laughs> I kinda wanna get one, but I just love using the spatula. Oh, and the color that I use is caramel. Wow, it just covers those blemishes right up. I love a full coverage foundation, it's so good. After doing this, I would feel more comfortable putting Onyx down below because I know that I'm not gonna wipe it off with the amount of foundation that I'm gonna use. I'm using the same concealer that I tried earlier on my eyelids for my face. People in the beauty industry love this concealer. I like it. I used to love it, but then I realized it's a good concealer because I really like that it's thick and full coverage. <clears throat> but I do have others that I prefer just because they're not as sticky. I'm gonna go back and use that Onyx color on my eyes at the bottom because so I really 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 want to see how this is going to turn out so let's go ahead and just make this a little bit more of a smoky dark eye just to make the black a little bit more intense I'm going to use the same Sephora Pro Shader number 18 brush uh-huh okay that's cool just gonna tap a light layer on top of the eyeliner. I just put a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Lace Color Powder under my eyes because I don't want the black to run. I want it to stay exactly where it is. So while that is baking under there, you guys, it is Friday. The mascara giveaway that I'm doing ends today. So what's happened is you've had to comment on all those last pictures on my Instagram and follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, so far, I don't see that someone has done all those things. So there might not be a winner, but there might be a winner. Someone might tonight by midnight do all those things. They've just been waiting. You know what I mean? Cause like I get that people work Monday through Friday and maybe not until Friday night do they have time to finish entering the giveaway, which I completely understand. So we'll see what happens. But that video is gonna come out on Monday, so the day after this video. So we'll see, we'll see who wins. Thank you so much, you guys, for answering my questions. I love getting to know you. I know some of you are from, I think it's Oklahoma, West Virginia, India, Canada. Wow, we are a diverse group of people here. I want to know a little bit more about you guys. For the giveaway question for this video, you guys, let me know in the comments right down below. Just tell me exactly what you want for Christmas. Like, it can be anything. Like, you know, a trip to Paris or if you just like want to see your cousins that you haven't seen in 10 years. That'd be so cool. Tell me what you want for Christmas. And um, someone was saying, hey Cami, we, we want to know more about you. And it was a couple weeks ago um, that I saw this comment where someone tagged me and they want to know 25 things about me. And I was like, whoa, that is a lot. But I feel really, really honored that anybody would want to know 25 things about me. That's so sweet, you guys. Um, it is October, so I'm not going to put the pressure on myself to do a shout out by saying that person's name and who it was. Um, it's just in one of my comments on one of my channels from a couple weeks ago. So I don't really have it prepared to do as like a shout out with like who it was that asked me that. It's there though. <clears throat> but I'm going to resume the shout outs. Um, I don't know when. It's going to be very soon, but it's October. And I said I was doing shout outs and I was going to say um, your name and all that stuff all of September. I think I was successful and I did and it was a lot of fun for me just to you know 
speak to you like personally but um, I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to find that comment because that could take forever and you guys right now to be honest I just want to finish this makeup look I want to go to the gym today before dinner so let's get going to be honest, it kind of bothers me that my eyebrows are not as dark as my eyes. I always feel like, I don't know, I've never, I haven't experienced this look very much, even though the eyes are not done, but as you can tell, like my eyebrows just aren't as dark. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Let's just keep going and hopefully it gets better. Okay, so before I touch um, my eyes or anything anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and just contour my face and so for contour oh this is the Sephora contour palette I believe it's the medium one I don't see that on here anywhere I just feel like it's medium and I'm gonna use this dark shade here so I'm starting to look a little bit more natural the color has been added back into my face. All right, so my structure is there. Can you guys see how the highlighter, there's not like a bunch of dark hairs in the way there. I really, really like that. That is why I wanted to do my eyebrows. I'm so happy I have them done. Ah! Okay, guys. So, let's see. I'm gonna use a little bit of this. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I'm gonna go back. So back into the Deck of Scarlet palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use Moon, is it Moon? Yeah, I'm using Moonstone on my cheeks just to make the look a little bit more cohesive. So then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of what's left over and just go over my contour like that. For eyelashes today, I'm using the Ardell Faux Mink Eyelashes. These are so beautiful. So for now, let's go ahead and put on the lashes and then we can move on to lips and a tiny bit more highlighter. Wow, these are like more dramatic than I'm used to. So I'm pretty excited to try them. Okay, so now that my lashes are drying, I'm just gonna take a minute to, oh, I could do my highlighter. So I'm gonna take, not Moonstone, but the color next to it is called Bad Behavior. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this on. I love like a subtle highlighter. I like to like build it up, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put Bad Behavior on my nose, like so. Mm-hmm, yes, I like it a lot. I'm also gonna put Bad Behavior here. coming together I still feel weird about putting it like I just I'm not there yet <laughs> oh let's put a little bit more under the eyes yes what's that blinking on my camera three two one it's at one what happens next Zero, zero, blinking, blinking, nothing has happened. So this look is mostly all about the drama of the eyes. My um, card that goes in my camera that keeps all the footage, it was full and I was like, what is that? I've never seen that before. Three, two, one, zero, nothing. And then it was like, eh. Okay, so let's do the rest of my face which includes highlighter and my lips. I'm basically doing everywhere that I already did one more time because I really like it. Look, ooh, look what happens. That's pretty. Oh, so glad I did my eyebrows, guys, because it's so necessary. It doesn't bother me so much that my eyebrows are a little bit lighter now. It kind of doesn't. All right, let's put on some lip liners so we can finish off this look with some lips and then we're done. This is my favorite lip liner. It's the Sephora Creme de la Creme color lip liner. It's not gonna focus, but this is the color. Um, okay, so let's line my lips really quickly before we put on that last deck of Scarlet color. I'm gonna use Koi. This is for the lips with my ring finger. Ooh, I'm excited. Mmm. 
Oh, it is being coy. Let's try something I haven't used in a while. This is my Jouer Lip Topper in the color Skinny Dip. Okay, I put too much gloss on my lips. Let's redo this. Hold on. Shoot. All mixed together. Mm, I'm gonna put more. Okay, no. I'm also putting some of the bad behavior here. I'm actually going to try it out. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You guys. video if you did like I said in the beginning please give it a thumbs up if you like it and yeah so stay tuned tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time which is Monday here in Los Angeles I will be uploading that giveaway winner video so stay tuned for that all right thank you guys and have a good night